first question, how are you feeling? Um, yeah, nerves are shot, totally. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. That's how we like it. Yeah, that, that'll happen. Uh, two six reds will do that to you. Yeah. Um, second question, which is the important one. Are you going to the draw after winning two matches? Are you calling someone out? I think I'll call someone out. Oh, now I know you've had advice from one corner, you've advice from the other. I guess the question is, are you here for a good time or a long time? What, what are you choosing? What are you thinking? So I think that I never expected to get here. And I'm thinking that I'm here one Saturday, so, <laughs> so I'd, I'd like, so I'd like, I'd like, and I can't see her, but I'd like to take on the world champion. Marion Jude, come on down. Oh, we love that. It's, talk us a little bit through your thinking there, because... I'm thinking that this is probably my last game anyway, so I might as well go out in style and play her. Uh, and what did you... Marion, come on in. What, what has impressed you so much? Have you seen Marion play? Wonderful player. I've seen, I've seen her on the TV in the World Champs. And, yeah, brilliant, brilliant player. Well, enjoy the moment. An honour to play her, so, yeah. Absolutely. Well, good luck. Yeah, thank you. Marion, welcome in to Last Woman Standing. I'm surprised to see you here. I dare say you might be as well. But you're here. You're enjoying the atmosphere? Uh, yes, but it's, uh, it's very good to play here. Uh, it's a lot of pressure because of all the world, <laughs> all the girls watching. But, uh, well, it's exciting. So, and I like challenge, so it's uh, perfect. Yeah, quite a different event than you'd probably be used to, right? Yes, very different. Um, I'm not used to, to this really, <laughs> but um, well, it's a new experience, so let's go. We're so happy to have you here. Go well. Can't wait to watch you, Marion. Okay, it's on. Marion Jude, the world champion, is in action. Next. Well, welcome back into the studio. I have to say, I did not see that coming. Barbara Taylor rejoins me. I have to say, I fully applaud Amy there. She said, I'm, I'm here, I'm only here once. I'm gonna take on the world champion. I love it. Uh, what, a, what a brave call. It's a brave call, but with the experience that she had from her international days, I don't think, and the way she's obviously feeling right now, she has got nothing to lose, but she is capable. So yeah, why not? Yeah, and she's, she's obviously got two matches under her belt, two six red shootouts under her belt. Yeah. Marion Drew's coming out there cold now, so she's going to yeah. be bang under it for 20 minutes. And yeah. She is the world champion. She's there to be shot at. Of course, yeah. Um, I think I don't think anybody was expecting that at all. No, um, I mean, Lindsay hinted at it. I had, had Lindsay on commentary just before. She was hinting that maybe this, if she was going to pick somebody out, now's the time. A third match, two under the belt, get one big win here. Yeah, great name for yourself, and then get out of there. Yeah. Um, if she wins this one, she may, may not see her again for quite a while. I actually believe that's the best strategy, yeah. probably for someone who's not actually an assassin on that third. If you if you feel like you're queuing well. Yeah. That's the time, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I mean, I, you can't, I fully applaud the, the decision that she's made. Yeah. Um, but she, what she does have to do now is go and beat the world champion. Marion Tude certainly over the last two years, what she's done is incredible. Yeah. Uh, one tournament so far with Ultimate Pool and, and lost at the quarterfinal stage. But it does take time to get used to it out in the arena and, and everything that comes with Ultimate Pool. But she is, we, we talked about this a lot in, in Morocco, she really is the real deal. She's, she's a rising star and already you know, right at the top of the game. Yeah. I think Marion's going to find it a lot easier than most of the girls yeah. to, to be able to settle down on a table. So I think Amy's probably in for... <laughs> hopefully she's not bitten off too much what? <laughs> more than she can chew. But no, I think it's, I still think it's going to be a great game. And it's great to actually see Amy back playing and, and here. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I feel like she may just... She had a couple of chances that got away at key moments. And that's why she ended up in six red shootouts rather than straight through. But she's got two matches under her belt and she can definitely improve on, you know, she's got such a good pedigree in the game, she can certainly improve on what we've seen from her in the two matches. Yeah, I, I think Amy, knowing how, because obviously we were teammates with England, knowing her from, because she is only just, when I say from, from what I've heard, she's relatively just coming back. Yeah. She's more than capable, but she, by her own standards, she'll admit that a few years back, she'd have, she'd have nailed all of them. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it does mean that we have an assassin out there. The first time since Amy Beecham earlier on today, and she won three straight. But there is jeopardy on the line here. If Amy can beat Marion, then she has the potential to win the prize on her head. There's also an extra life available for Marion if the draw goes that way, if she was to lose. And also, she could have the bounty put onto Amy's head. 
Gonna have to call Amy the Queen of the Shootouts. Yeah, two two six one but six red straight away. I know, but both of them from uh, obviously qualified through fouls. So yeah, it was it was one of them where both times she's had to sit and wait, and then it's like, well. Yeah, you'd feel like 47 and 41 wasn't quite enough. Yeah. And they just held on thanks to two two fouls in that last one and one foul in the yeah. previous one. All very tight. Yeah, I've actually just been told that without the second foul, she still wouldn't have won the six. She, the oh, six really? red, she was just about half a second over anyway. We thought, um, we yeah. thought it was going to be close, and yeah. we thought half a second, but we didn't even know what the second one. We couldn't see what the second foul was. We know that, obviously, she hitting a, hitting a moving ball, two, two oh, out. Oh, right, yeah. OK. Yeah. And she's straight back in with the first chance here, but that red's gone awkward. And if she's on the one left centre, no, not not there. I was going to say you've got still got a chance to get out, but that's awkward. You feel like this opening frame is is massive. Uh, normally, normal circumstances, we'd be talking about how it's a big frame for, for Amy to get off to a good start against the world champion. But because of the shoot, because of the way the tournaments run, and and the fact that Amy's already had two matches out there, I feel the exact opposite. I feel like this opening frame, obviously, it's important for both. It always is going to be, but important for Marion to find her feet here and, and get some rhythm going. Yeah. Funnily enough, myself and Mika have been sat and we've watched it every match so far, and we've come to the conclusion that the most important frame is actually the second frame. Yep, to go 1-1 or 2-0. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Uh, and we're like, it doesn't matter what happens in the first frame, it's the second frame that's the most important. Um, but yeah, it's. I wouldn't say it's a tactic just to give up in the first frame. <laughs> no, you want to win them both. Obviously, but yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But no, it's, it, it, it is a pattern that's forming that people are picking up on. So I think Amy's in a little bit of trouble here. I'm sure she'll be able to get out of it okay, but it's what she's going to leave. I tell you what as well, the 20-minute match clock does now seem to be going very fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. First first few matches with, with Amy, you kind of felt like it was... That's a nice shot. Music yeah, job. excellent shot. First match, three few matches with Amy, she was flying along, playing some beautiful pool, lots of finishes. That It felt like, oh, there's loads of time out there. But, but since then, every match has been so tight. This match clock is just getting very much involved and happening very quickly. I think it's just tension. And then a few mistakes are making the, the, the layout scrappy. And then obviously that's where the time's being lost up while you're developing, snookering. The amount of times we've been sitting and then all of a sudden said, wow, there's, there's only eight minutes left. It's like, what? Come, comes around quick. Yeah. Probably will come out around quicker when you're out there playing. Don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get the feeling that Marion's experience would put a favourite in this frame. Yeah, no doubt. But it's the, you know, you've got to find your, this is what we're talking about, you've got to find your feet, you've got to get your rhythm going, and, you, you know, there's, this isn't, it's very different to the atmosphere in Morocco, but it is equally intimidating. Oh, I'd say more so. Yeah. More in, in so. A, in a, yeah, yeah. I, I could get, I, get on board with that. Yeah, because obviously not just the studio, but obviously everybody is, a hot, is a more closer. To yeah, the, right to on the it. the actual playing arena, they're right on it. They're calling for shootouts and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Banters fly in, yeah. We're well, a little fortunate. Yeah. Just flicked the wrong ball there, but it's come out okay. She may have known that she was just getting that, but it still worked nicely. Perfect. No. Looks like she's eyeing up the middle pocket. Yeah. OK, 
Cue ball. Oh, just. I thought she'd overcut that initially. Yeah, and I think that's yeah. part of the reason the cue ball was tracking. Yeah, and I think she's not got much to play with here. She's not a drama, but I'm sure she would have pre preferred to have been running off the top cushion and back down for the block. Still, straight cue ball to the sorry, straight eight ball to the corner for a one nil lead. Hammers it in. And that will be a settler for Marion Jude. Be interesting to know how she felt about that frame compared to any of the frames she played at the World Championships or either of her world titles that she's certainly won over the last couple of years. Yeah. It's a whole different pressure. It's a whole different pressure. Yeah, and also, you know, travelled a long way from France, you know, to come here for this weekend. And, you know, you've got... <laughs> it's a very, very short match out there to kind of make your mark. If you don't turn up, you, well, you've, <laughs> you've got, got a long way home. Well, you've got to be expecting the pressure on yourself. You've got to be expecting some sort of result to be able to commit to spending that money yeah. and all that time travelling. You've yeah, got absolutely. to be... So there is a, that also can put a bit of added pressure on, but I think she's settled in to being a, a champion, a current world champion very well. Yeah, two-time world champion, and she's yeah. still incredibly young. Big future for Marion, already been a big career. Yeah. We're still waiting for a golden break. We are still waiting for that golden break. We've had a couple get close. close yeah. A couple track, yeah. not quite dropping in. Majority of players are now cut breaking as well. Not for me. Not for you. <laughs> no. no. Oh, Marion, big mistake early in this frame. Pretty uncharacteristic. Which means it's a good chance. Well, right. the reds now have to probably be her option. I'm not sure there's a yellow on, but yellows are far better here. I'm not so sure. I think your very first shot into the, the middle can actually develop that one awkward one by the black, which is exactly what she's just done. Very Probably unlucky. Deserve better than that, yeah. yeah. She's just had a look, although it's thin, she has got a cut into the left middle here. Oh. Not that thin, Amy, but it was always difficult, and she's actually not left much at all. And you'd have to favour reds at this point now, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't think yellows are a bad layout, though. No. It's, it's, it's it quite even. Again, I think shots like that are a sign of a world champion. Doesn't look anything, can still see a red, but actually very clever because she's actually going to hopefully force her to open up that one yellow that's tied almost by the black spot and just give her a bit more room for her work in, in a, later on in the clearance. No, it chooses distance. Yeah. as a, a safety measure. There is yellows on, though, for Marion, if she fancies it, and certainly an out available. She's that one. Maybe a bit straighter than she would have wanted. Yeah, it needed a bit of angle to get mm. off the cushion. Making this next positional shot very tricky. See how confident she is. If you drop this in and you've got the yellow to top right-hand corner. Yeah. But if you don't make it, you hand in the frame over. No. Don't think there was any thought of potting that ball at no. all. I think this is a time where Amy needs to play the the lowest red up to the top right. Yeah, sort of almost the suggestion of what we thought for Marion previously, take that on and the chance to win the frame is there. 
but it's, even it, if it's dead there there's only two pockets it goes in yeah. and, and you were on it. Uh, it again it's a frame winner or a frame loser isn't it really but as I say she's not really left well, she's left a plant Half a thought of potting that, but more a case of bump it over yep. and leave the cue ball where it is and ask the question of Amy. No easy pot on. Obviously got the one length of the table. But that's not going to do much for you. And there's nowhere to hide either. No. Forced into a big shot and that's worked out okay unless that yellow in the middle of the reds goes as a plant and it's tight you can yeah, see Marion Ina up straight away yeah I think she might actually have to play the yellow off the other yellow yes or play the three ball plant which is tough but again either way it's one of them if you don't get it she's opening up the reds uh, she, it looks like she is playing it straight oh. no not quite wasn't there Oh, she'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said this is a big frame. Frame two is always massive. Yep. It, it feels it right now. Oh, yeah. Again, it's eight, eight minutes 40 on the clock. It's, it's huge. Although you're going into the 15 seconds for the last five minutes, it's still... Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, nice shot. Are we destined for another <laughs> Amy Hannah Dixon six <laughs> red shootout? I wouldn't be surprised. No, certainly right now, it feels an opportunity. You know, it feels a real chance. Yeah. I think she'll take that. Yeah, it's almost a gamble, isn't it? She kind of, I think she was playing the treble, or definitely playing the loss of turn. If she makes that ball, then she's got something down the table. But she's hoping that Amy's not going to be able to develop that ball, which was so well guarded, going into it well, and it's still done nothing. I think if she can get behind it, I think that maybe the combination shot might be on. And obviously, at worst, it would just be a loss of turn. She could actually, well, she probably would have ho hoped that that would have been her last ball so that she didn't have to do too much with the white and could almost leave it where it is. But it looks like she's doing it now. That'll do. Obviously, Marion will probably return the favour and run the white ball through now and try and hide behind that cluster of yellows. She's not quite... I think she's left right into the middle. Yeah, I think the red's on. I think that's a mistake. done too much damage the eight ball still goes perfectly on this red yep. Perfect. Nice. we're going one one eight ball four parity and a very tight last five and a half minutes here and in it goes. We are all square. And of course, a lot of talk, obviously, that Amy's taken on the world champion here, but 
Well, the other thing that's going on here and kind of almost been forgotten because she's taken on Marion is the fact that she wins this match. It's three and done. She's out. Yeah. She gets a little bit, well, guaranteed a match off and yeah. a little bit of breathing room. And no one, you'd probably say that she's not going to get called out again tonight. No, no, well, I can't see it. I can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a fascinating last five minutes 40 here. And you are right, that, that frame two, Marion wins that 2-0 up with 5 minutes 40, and she's yeah. in a really strong position. Yeah. But 1-1, one, one, very different. Yeah. The amount of times we've seen it where uh, somebody's gone 1-0 down, that second frame, they've either pinched it or took it, and then they've run off, run ahead and, and finished 2-1. There's patterns forming and people are noticing and talking tactics <laughs> yeah yeah you, but, but, you know everyone you're all chatting as the day goes on what works what doesn't work yeah. what will you do what will i do i don't know i don't even know what my own name is after time, <laughs> so i don't know what i'm gonna do well, i think she'd love to see a red here all the reds yeah. go comfortably all the yellows do go as well the one on the right hand side is guarded and and the one at the top of the table where you're going after it could become an issue yeah but there's certainly a chance on yellows, just reds would have been easier, but had, didn't have that option, so sometimes you are forced into the hard colour set. I must admit, I think I'd be tempted to be taking the yellow that's on the right hand rail at the moment, running it up. This is, this is really tough from here. Connections aren't great. No, you haven't to go side to side. It's um, a nice part. Oh, and a beautiful nudge. I mean, the absolute ball in hand, perfect nudge on that red. The problem with that yellow at the top wasn't getting on it. It was getting onto something off it, and that nudge means she has the perfect angle. Still going to have to work hard from here. If you could, she might have to use the red to be able to draw this back. In an ideal world, you want to get straight in left center. Yeah. That is not easy to do from here. So much angle that she's coming away from it by the looks of things. Mm. I think she has to take it now. Yeah, she was just checking out the angle she wanted. Beautiful. Now, can she get to the left-hand side of that red? red. It looks tight. Yellow. Uh, uh, yeah, but to the left-hand side of the red oh, to, sorry, to be yeah. on the yellow to the bottom left-hand corner. Yeah. She certainly can. This has been brilliant. Wow. This is going to be awkward queuing, hampered over the red, but it's a straight pot with the eight ball waiting. And 15 seconds a shot. She just caught herself. She wanted to go around <laughs> and have a, yeah. have a little wonder. Wow. Yeah, oh, wow. brilliant. Great. Marion Jude showing us why she is a world champion. For me, the best clearance of the day so far, under huge pressure with the way Amy won that previous frame. That was seriously classy. Thanks. And she knows it. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> That's what world champions do, yeah. I mean, there was there, there was no good connections there in the no. tough pot after tough pot. And no. two or three shots there, the, obviously that one where she used the red on purpose to get close to straight on the one into the center. And that was a tough pot by itself, but you had yeah. to judge the cannon perfectly as well. I mean, yeah, that was that was seriously. I mean, we saw some brilliant stuff from Amy Beecham earlier on where she picked a pot, some finishes, and made them look simple. But she was doing some of that at, at 1 0, 2 0, 3 0 up. But that, that was, uh, if she misses at any point there, she's a big favourite to lose this match. Yeah, and it, it's, it's the pressure that, that these players are playing under now in all of these tournaments that. He's standing them in good stead for that clearance. Is ex like exactly like that. But what a chance here yeah. for Amy to respond in kind. Look at yellows. This layout is a dream. Unless the yellow at the top of the table goes right, uh, top right hand corner, then that yellow right centers my connection to that one. So it can't be the first ball unless you've got the angle to go up for it straight away. That's not the best shot oh. he's ever played. Almost rushed it. I mean, I know it's 15 <laughs> seconds a shot, but it almost felt a little rushed. But she's still in control here. Yeah. Still not on the next ball nicely. Trucky plant or the one at the bottom. Oh. 
that's not ideal. All of a sudden, this finish looks tough. She might have to take that yellow at the top now. Although, yeah, it's, it's awkward. It's awkward queuing. Yeah, it calls for the extra 15 just to work it out. And there's the miss. So a chance with 1.50 on the clock here for Marion Jew to take a little bit of control in this frame. Yeah. It's not going to be, you can't run the clock down. There's not enough, not enough balls to pot. So it's going to be through tactical play. That has left a yellow on. She probably would have liked that red to sit in front of the yellow right centre. Maybe just slightly overhit it. Amy can pop this, but the cue ball's not going ideal. Unless, well, can she take it long? Yeah, she's trying to sneak it in. Now, 116, three open balls for Marion Jude and an extension. So that is a minute. That should be the plan here. Pop those three open balls and call your extension mm -hmm. and then play your last shot. Well, she's eyeing up the loss of turn at the, the top. So maybe one more chance for Amy Hallis Dixon to come. There's been a, two matches, I think I remember today, where the person's forgot about the extension and the clock. And to be honest with you, Marion Jude, as experienced as she is with all the, you know, the two world titles she's won, yeah. she's only ever played one match in these conditions in, in the last yeah. women's series, and she lost that match as well. So, you know, mm -hmm. she's never won a match in, in, in this match. You know, she's definitely missed a trick by not using her extension and taking an extra 15 seconds off the shot. Because imagine if Amy only had 15 seconds left here rather than the 30, it'd be completely different. Although it still looks like it's going to be a bridge too far here for Amy. No chance. You can't. You, no, you can't afford a safety because I'm, I'm not sure she again. Uh, uh, Amy's experience is yeah, limited, of course. so I think she's not realised as well. So Marion doesn't even have to play a shot. Calls her extension. Her shot clock is That's longer than the match clock. <laughs> she now knows that she has won. And you have to say, a phenomenal clearance from Marion Jude to get the victory here. But fair play to Amy Hallis Dixon for her performance to win two matches back to back but then to have be brave enough to call out the world champion oh super brave yeah yeah total respect for amy she's just come back come in grasped it with both hands and decided yeah, yeah. and also she she doesn't still know a lot of players that are, are here but the opportunity to be able to take on the current world champion she's yeah. just she has gone for it yeah so. and she pushed her all the way yeah, you yeah. have to say though marion jude Phenomenal clearance to go 2-1 in front. She's now won a match in these conditions, which, you know, is only going to help her. Yeah. What do we think she's going to do? Again, because she won't probably know most of the players here. She might be eeny, meeny, well, miny, well, moe. Here's, here's an interesting one. She's in, in the women's series. She won two matches against players that are playing this weekend. Right. Megan Proctor and Kirsty Lee Davies. Kirsty's yeah. obviously in phenomenal form. Yeah. So she won both of those. Um, so does she go for one of the players she's already beaten? Again, I don't know. And I don't know how much coverage they have in France yeah. to be able to see what people do and where they are. And yeah, yeah, I, I think it could be anyway. She may literally just be flicking a coin. Maybe even call you out as well. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah Why not? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's yeah. find out. Send yeah. it down to Stephen. All right, folks, welcome back inside the Ultimate Pool Arena. Let's pay our congratulations to Marion Jude, one of one for the world champ. Just before we get your reaction, Marion, I want to say a big congrats as well to Amy Hallis Dixon, who won two matches, decided that wasn't quite enough, called out the world champion. That is how we do things on Ultimate Pool Last Woman Standing. Amy, you're awesome. Okay, Marion, how did you find that? Uh, stressful, uh, especially when it's 1-1 one, one and only five minutes left. But, uh, well, I'm happy <laughs> of the result. <laughs>